Have you ever recruited someone who initially was super excited to join your team and turned out to actually not doing anything or even worse, quit on you? Totally re relatable because every single one of us have gone through this at some point or another. So in this episode number 102, I'm going to share with you three tips to try and avoid this as much as possible to motivate your team to get to work. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from TerryVAlexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new episode and I'm also attaching a free resource of some sorts like a cheat sheet, a guide, a PDF that you can use to be empowered in your own way within your business each and every single week as well. In this week's episode, I want to share with you how to get your team motivated and excited to get to work. But, you know, let's not fool ourselves. It always starts with us. It always starts with you, first of all. It is definitely bound to happen that people are not going to work in their business as much as you would like them to work in their business. But that's the way it is. You know, not everybody has the same dreams and not everybody has the same work ethic as well and energy to put in their own dreams to make them come true. Now, you are the one that is there to pave the way and show them how it's done so it can get them motivated as well. So let's talk about this for a second. As this is going to reduce the amount of people quitting and also increase the ratio of people wanting to work. My first tip is to actually prime them beforehand. What I mean by this is to actually make sure to set your expectations from the get-go. That's something I've learned a long time ago. And that is in a way meaning that it is best for you as well as for them to know that everyone is on the same page. What I tend to do when someone is starting in my business, in my, in my network marketing business or affiliate, program, I tend to tell them that I will be there 100% to support them along the way. However, I will not build their business for them. That is really important and very key so they know that you are always available to support them, help them, provide them with value, tips and techniques on how to grow their business, but not the one who's going to build it for them. Also, I make sure to collect their goals and ask them if they are serious about their goals, about making them happen. Once this is clarified and I have a transparent, honest, genuine answer from them that their goals is really true and they're really serious about it, I'm also very honest with them and transparent about what it's going to take in order to make this happen. Meaning that there will be some ups and downs. It's bound to happen. It's not a straight line to success. It, they're going to, there's going to be, or they are going to be some roadblocks along the way and we're going to have to go through them together. Doing this now, I also ask them how they want me to communicate with them when the motivation is going down. I will tell them, do you want me to call you and motivate you? Do you want me to leave you alone? What is it that you want me to do when I see that your motivation is going down and you're going away from the dreams that you said you want to create? The priming phase is so important because it actually set the expectations. It makes sure that everyone is on the same page, but also it gives you permission to give them a little bit of tough love when the times are getting tough. And as you know, each and every single week, I'm also giving you access to a freebie, a cheat sheet, a PDF of some sort to empower you within your business. So this week, because we're talking about team work and make sure to motivate them, excite them to get to work, I put together a, a guide, which is my team contest guide. That is going to help you get your team motivated and see how I'm going through it in order to really get the juice up. 
right? Something that is going to bring the team together and make everyone want to get to work and get excited by what others are doing so they can move the needle into their own business as well. So if you want to get access to this team building contest guide, then just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. If you're on my YouTube channel or any other platform, just, just go into the description section somewhere around this video and that will direct you back onto my blog thanks to the link that is in there. Once you're there, below this video again, you'll see a massive yellow button that is going to give you access to team building contest guide, which you're gonna get by clicking the yellow button below here. My next tip is to have some productive monthly meeting. It is really important to keep in contact with your teams and also to show them that you are the leader they want to look up to. Each and every single month, you should meet with your team to have a gathering and talk about what they need to serve them with what they are needing at that moment in time for them to move within their business. Each and every single month, I'm actually sending a Google form to my team for them to fill in the, to send me the questions that they have prior the meeting that we're having together. That way I can get ready with what is it that they need. I can prepare something and come ready to answer all the questions. No matter what happens, even if they don't have any questions, I actually prepare, pre oh, one, two, three, I actually prepare a training of some sort that is very easy, very simple, that we work together directly on the training day and we take action immediately. So we already move the needle closer and further to where they want to get. Very important to have some action immediately. I really find that people love when they are getting out of the meetings with something that they've done immediately, not with some homework, but something that they've done right now. Yes, they're going to keep on doing at home, etc., but that they've done something right now that already has made a difference in their business. And my final tip is to create excitement in your teams. A way you can create an engaged team and make sure that they are excited is by having some contents, some contests and challenges going. That is really, really powerful. And with the uh, guide that I'm giving you is actually going to help you set that up for you to go ahead and have that ready for, for your team. You see, most people love to actually kind of compete, fight for something and win something. That is getting them motivated to do the work that they need to do for their own sake. Equally, you could actually open your challenges to your audience, to your people that you're serving online beyond your team. So your team can get involved, but also your leads, your people that you are sharing value with each and every single day. That way there is more, there are more people within the challenge and it creates more buzz. For example, I've got several challenges going through the year. I've got Facebook profile challenge, lead generation, lead generation challenge, goal setting challenge. And every time I do involve my, my people, my audience, and as well as my team. So everyone is there, the team gets motivated, the people in my audience, they are you know, getting excited to have something new brought to them. And that is also a way to close your challenges with an upsell of some sort and or to ask people to join your team as well if you wanna, if they want to have even more of that value that you're providing them beyond the challenge. Essentially, the more people, the more fun, the more impact, and the more eyeballs on your team, meaning on your business, while giving your team a great boost for them to go out there and build their own business as well. In conclusion, it's all about setting expectations sooner rather than later, and also to be creative on how to keep the energy flowing effectively as well as consistently within your within your team and remember i've got your back as well with my team building contest guide which is going to guide you through on how to set one of those challenges or contests to keep your team 
way motivated, way more motivated and to get to work. So if you want to get access to this guide, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know what to do. Smash the share button, send it to your fellow network marketers, makeup artists, entrepreneurs, whomever you think could benefit on how to get their team motivated to go to work. Question of the week. What type of challenges do you tend to encounter within your team? What is it that you have difficulties to deal with? What are you experiencing that you don't know how to go about? Share with me in the comment section. I'd love to know what it is that I can actually help you with. And if I don't know how, I will go and find the answer for you so you can have a better time with you, with your team and building your business at the same time. Thank you so much for tuning in as each and every single week. I love connecting with you. It's a real pleasure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This episode is a wrap, but I will see you on the next training video. Bye-bye-bye.